today at the mouth of Fox Creek in Idaho, soon to enter Wyoming. The consensus is that packs weigh anywhere from 25 to 50 pounds. Yeah, 50 pounds. Well, Glenn, the guide, is ahead of us. We are climbing out of Fox Creek. And our goal will be to ascend the ridge of Baldy Knoll. Climbing into the yurt, we have some beautiful forest. As the Engelman spruce shed their load, we've been in for an artificial snowstorm. Aha! Uh -huh. And those must be the Indians. Rick Val Valger. <laughs> All right, we are making progress there with Teton Valley in the background. You can see where we started down at the mouth of Fox Creek. One mile to go. One to go. Okay. <laughs> That's the ridge that the hut is on. This sure is a lovely piece of the universe, isn't it? We've made it to the ridge, acid ridge, that uh, will lead us to the Baldy Knoll yurt here in a short while. We are right next door to the Jedediah Smith Wilderness Area. Well, up on the open of Baldy Knoll, we turn the corner. And no, we're not in Mongolia, but that is a yurt. And that'll be our home for the next two days. Looking across Game Creek, we can see the Teton Range is socked in. Looks like we'll have a little bit of weather moving in to keep us company. You can see those wide open inviting ski slopes. Well, there's no wind here. It feels like a nice protected area. A beautiful overlook. Well, it's nighttime in the Tetons. Let's get in that yurt and get warm. The stove and our chefs are hard at work here. Oh, good morning. We all survived the night. And we're getting ready for a fine day of skiing out of the yurt. Well, the morning finds us in foggy weather. So we've been aiming for the trees and finding some very good snow. Of course, any run you choose is untracked. You have a wide range of gradients.
And assuming you can make the three to four hour climb up to this 9,000 foot elevation, there is something for everybody up here. Most of the runs offer, say, four to 600 feet of vertical skiing. And uh, for this to work out well, you really need to come prepared with climbing skins of some kind that can easily be put on and taken off. And uh, that allows us to go up and down. After a morning of uh, fog or clouds, take your choice. It looks like the weather is lifting a little bit, at least enough to see Teton Valley. So let's go take a ski run with the camera. To make this grade, we have our climbing skins on. From this wilderness boundary marker, we'll go for a downhill shot right here. Let's take these climbing skins off and put them away and then we'll be in the downhill mode. It's so cool to ski among these grotesque snow ghosts of trees as we pick our way down an open meadow. The runs vary in steepness. We're starting off with a nice, easy, gentle one here. And then they progress in steepness. And even though you, the viewer, don't get first tracks on this one, it's pretty close. I'm panting as much out of excitement as I am out of the hard work, but yahoo! That run out brings us to the up trail. So we'll put the skins on and climb to the top and repeat. Well, it looks like we brought our share of powder hounds along with us. Barry and Joe say they're not gonna quit until they ski out the whole mountain. Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's take another run. This time, off of Baldy Knoll. The uh, yurt we're staying in is owned by Glenn Vitucci and Carol Lowe of Teton Mountain Tours. They have two other yurts in addition to Baldy Knoll. One is in the Moose Creek drainage and the other is in the Lee Creek drainage of the Teton Range. Uh, our trip was organized by Bob Tyler and uh, I'd suggest if you're interested in staying at the yurt that you book your stay well in advance, two to three months probably. and. Uh, I can tell you, it's worth every ounce of energy and fun to be up here. So, from the top of Baldy Knoll, 
at just under 9,000 feet. We repeat the ritual, skins off, wipe the sweat off the brow, and let's have a look-see at what gravity can dish up for us this time around. And as they say, just do it. And again, the only phrase that comes to mind is, yeah! Oh, Mr. Cameraman, please, just one more downhill shot. Shut up, you wimp. I can't stand whiners. Well, let's head on back to the yurt. Maybe we can catch a sunset here. Looks like it's clearing a little bit. Well, we're admiring Mr. Sun, who's making an appearance here at the end of the day. Well, before it gets too dark, we better get back to the yurt. We have to melt snow and cut a little firewood here, too. Home. Oh, looks like we're home alone in the yurt. Let's take a look around our living quarters. We have a cooking area with a propane stove propane lantern, this nice bunting, nice insulation there, keeps the warm in, avoids condensation. The yurt is designed to sleep eight. We have nine in our party, and I can't say it's overcrowded, it's cozy. It was warm for about half the night, and then the other half the night it cooled off. We uh, let the fire go out at night for reasons of safety. And when no one's here in the cabin or in the yurt, also the fire is extinguished. But when the fire is on, it's nice and toasty. And we make the water by putting snow in the water jacket here so that we always have a supply of water. and the skylight directly overhead makes it light during the day. For those of you wondering about the other necessities of life, this is the illustrious outhouse. So rather than look at the outhouse, we'll look at the view from it. <laughs> it's a lot more scenic. Well, the sun has set and the last of the diehards have made it in. Let's get in that nice toasty yurt and get some dinner ready. It's meat oh, here. Tea. What's for dinner, Mmm. Mm. That is turkey sausage, Mother Nature's finest. <laughs> Let's get into that. Mmm. No, get... time. Oh, nice. Look at that stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> A la Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> this job ends with the All right, there's the main course, spaghetti. Well, we're doing some basic wood gathering here as we prepare to leave the yurt on our final day. We've had
got a nice three day, two night stay. We're making wood for the next party that's coming to visit. Okay, this is our hardy group, and since we are in the Federal Witness Protection Program, we won't name names. It's been great of you to come along. Thanks a lot. Tyler heading out to the hills. Bob's bringing it home. Uphill now. From Fox Creek, Teton County, Wyoming, this is Rick Bogger.